I saw the posters in my OB's offices when I got pregnant uh, with Lucy. And I mean, every doctor visit I went to, my doctors would ask me, Are, how's the baby moving? Are you feeling her kick? So it was the day before I was supposed to be induced. Um, it was just two days before I would hit 41 weeks and her movements kind of slowed down. They just weren't yeah. as um, strong as normal. And so I sat and waited. I wasn't sure, you know, was I being paranoid? But I decided to call the doctor. Um, they advised me to go into the hospital. It was a Sunday and the 4th of July. so. A whole different experience than what I was prepared to do, but um, I'm so glad I went in. You know, we if we had waited another day, the doctor said she might not have made it. I just remember Eleni saying that she thought the movements were off and she had all this data to kind of show where she was relative to what she thought was normal. And I remember thinking, well, maybe she's just nervous or anxious, and you know, but it was still a really great feeling to know we had something to actually kind of help confirm what she was experiencing. Your baby's movements don't have to change drastically for something to be wrong. Lucy still kicked, you know, 10 times that day like normal, but it was just in a much different pattern than what we were used to. You know your body and you know your baby. If you think anything is different, it's so much better to go in and have nothing be wrong than to not go in. So I would just say trust yourself, trust your instincts, and take care of your baby. One of the things that it's so difficult to know when she's initially feeling a certain type of way, she's bouncing that idea off of you. And it's really hard to understand, like there's nothing to really add to the conversation beyond assuring them like, hey, if you think we should get it checked out, we should get it checked out, I think be supportive. I think the other small thing is, um, it really doesn't take much time for her to have done this. A lot of times she'd do it while we're having coffee in the morning and it would be so quick that I would forget what she was really even doing and I think that's the other big part of it is it's it's a really easy thing to do. It's really quick. It doesn't take a lot out to just kind of participate in that event. Count the Kicks probably saved Lucy's life. I'm just so grateful that she's here with us today.